Welcome, Devaney. <laughs> Welcome to Arizona State University. Welcome, with you. Here we are. <laughs> Hey, to be welcomed by you is the greatest treat, uh, but we should be the ones welcoming you, of course. So I'm hoping that you're going to be willing to talk with me about how you first came to Jane Austen. Well, it's an embarrassing story. Um, I was at college, um, and I was very depressed, and I was about to um, run off to Cuernavaca, Mexico to learn Spanish, take a semester off. And um, in my room at Harvard, Someone had a copy of Northanger Abbey, or someone gave it to me, or somehow I got Northanger Abbey, which is the worst. It's one of the worst. Uh, I know I think it's the worst Jane Austen to start with because I was 18, 19, um, and I never read a Gothic novel. And Northanger Abbey, for those who don't know it, is largely made up of her parodying the Gothic novel genre of those years. So it was probably written. Um, at the very end of the 1790s by her or early 1800s. And she's being fun of the sort of novels that Mrs. Radcliffe wrote, you know, castles in danger and damsels in distress and fantastic things happening. I guess it's sort of the beginning of romanticism in a way. Mm -hmm. And um, she was never romantic. And so she was making fun of that in, in a kind of very young way. And I thought it was terrible. I had no idea what she was making fun of. And I just thought it was lame is like a Jerry Lewis movie or something. And um, although later we get to like those. Um, and uh, so I told everyone that Jane Austen was terrible and overrated and I hated her. And then fortunately, um, after um, college, I got into more serious reading. I had a sister and a brother-in-law who were very, very serious reading uh, English literature. And I think my sister recommended Sense and Sensibility, or I read that and liked it. And I think it that, I think, is the best introductory Jane Austen for most people. And then I read Pride and Prejudice, loved that. And I read them all, loved them all. Um, and then I went back uh, many years later, over 25 years later, I went back to reconsider Northanger Abbey, which is very fortunate because in reading Northanger Abbey first, I liked it because I, in publishing, I'd worked on Gothic novels. Mm -hmm. I, I worked for the editor of a Victoria Holt novel, so I learned what Gothic novels were. So I knew what she was making fun of. I also really appreciated the sort of Jane Austen romantic comedy. There's a bit of that in Northanger Abbey. But really the discovery for me were the um, fragments and unpublished Jane Austen um, manuscripts included in this edition. And so the first thing after Northanger Abbey was Lady Susan. And that really opened my eyes to something because I like Jane Austen very much, and Jane Austen always has a coolly humorous regard towards towards life. But in Lady Susan, she was particularly funny, particularly unrestrained. And so I started thinking of that as a possible film. That's fantastic. 